11 deer resistant flower bulbs for your garden. Hyacinths are one of the very few bulbs that can legitimately be called deer-proof. The bulbs are poisonous to deer, squirrels, and other bulb eaters. Nor will do deer eat the flowers and foliage once the bulbs bloom. Like hyacinths, daffodils are toxic and therefore fully deer-proof. Deer rarely touch them, and even squirrels leave them alone. Daffodils are widely recognized as among the most beautiful bulbs that are fully hardy in cold regions. There are hundreds of varieties in various shades of yellow, cream, and white. Netted iris, also commonly called the reticulated iris, will catch your eye in the first part of spring with its purple flowers accented with a bit of yellow and white. The name of this iris derives from the pattern evident on the dry bulbs. Snowdrops Galanthus nivalis, are one of the first plants to pop up in late winter or early spring, sometimes even before the snow has completely retreated. A member of the amaryllis family of plants, this one, too, can legitimately be called deer-proof, since it is toxic to animals. Although the individual flowers are tiny, snowdrops can gradually spread and naturalize over the years, forming impressively large white drifts. Another plant that won't interest local deer is the early blooming glory of the snow. If you're not a fan of white flowers, such as snowdrops, take note that glory of the snow doesn't come only in white, other options are light pink and blue. Perhaps the most well-known of the early bulbs that peak up while snow still blankets the ground, crocus are generally left alone by deer, although they are not truly deer-proof. When food is in very short supply, deer might eat crocus foliage. Rabbits and squirrels, however, will quite happily dig up the bulbs. Blue flowers are greatly sought after by gardeners, and Siberian squill, Scylla siberica, is a wonderful source of blue for the early spring garden. A favorite cultivar, spring beauty, is more robust in all ways than the species plant. That's apparent immediately as the plant first breaks through the ground in spring, unfolding leaves that are much thicker than those of the species. Grape hyacinths are quite distinct from true hyacinths. Grape hyacinths bear smaller flowers that are bell-shaped, whereas true hyacinths have flowers shaped like little starfish. The grape in the name derives from the fact that the flower clusters resemble bunches of grapes. Grape hyacinths are an early spring bloomer, appearing well before the regular hyacinths, Hyacinthus orientalis. There are many types of alliums, they come not only in different colors but also in different sizes, and the larger ones bloom later than the smaller ones. Alliums generally bloom after the spring bulbs, from late spring to midsummer. Fritillaria imperialis, commonly known as crown imperial, is a bold beautiful, deer-resistant option. It is a somewhat exotic-looking bulb, standing two to three feet high with rings of bell-shaped flowers hanging under a crown of leaves. Fritillaria is a mid-spring bloomer, it is often planted in combination with daffodils and grape hyacinth. Lily of the valley is often used at weddings, being fragrant and white, but it's an invasive plant in some regions. Constantly having to defend your perennial bed against an unwanted intruder has a way of souring you on the romance of a plant. Also unromantic is the fact that lily of the valley is toxic. But if you're more worried about deer eating up your landscaping, then you may just fall in love with lily of the valley. Lily of the valley blooms in April, and it is often planted in shady areas where a quick spreading ground cover is wanted. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.